Legend Total War here, and today we've got a saving and disaster battle playing as Carcassonne, where we're in Ulthwan defending the Eagle Gate against like a Lizardman slash Chaos uh, rogue army here. So, in terms of forces, we technically don't stand a chance, but because the Eagle Gate has a few tricks up its sleeve that you can do, that the AI is actually very bad at assaulting the, um, the Ulthwani Gates. Uh, there may be some hope as long as they don't manage to get through the gate. If they get through the gate and use these units here, we're absolutely doomed. But, if not, then we only really need to deal with um, Saurus Spears and a few Saurus Warriors. So, we'll see how we go. Let's jump in and see what we can do. Because, on one side of the... the of the map here, this side here, the AI never climb up the walls. So you can use the gate bug to just keep the gate open since it's got no missile units. And um, any units that are over here, just don't worry about it. So we only really need to focus on this. Since they'll send about half of their army, hopefully lots of infantry over this side here. And hopefully they'll just sit there. Then we just need to hold this side here. The problem is we've only got um, five units of these um, halberdiers, men at arms, pole arms. Which isn't much. We also need to use the gate bug here because we don't want any of these guys getting in. Now, I think that the Shagath can actually bypass the... I'm actually not entirely sure. It might be able to bypass the, the uh, gate bug, but I'm not entirely sure. Right, so we'll use the... Uh, what should we use? I've used cavalry before. It's not great for um, opening the gate. You Ideally, you want to use a single entity, which we don't have. Uh, we've also got artillery here, which we really should be aiming for over this side. If we have a look, right, there are one, two, three, four infantry units. It's on very hard battle difficulty. Uh, very hard battle difficulty. Uh, this one here will probably go that way. So five infantry units. So these guys here all need to be up on the walls. We can thin them out a little bit uh, with the towers. Guess we'll use archers. And then just have one unit just to activate the towers here. And ready. Yes. What orders? Okay, and then these two archers. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe I should have them shooting first. Maybe put All these men. back orders? behind here so that they can shoot for a little bit. And then when they start climbing up the walls here, then we just switch them around. As for the Knights of the Realm, they're anti-large, but they're not going to be able to defeat uh, Shaggoths or Dragon Ogres, because they're also anti-large, so that's not going to work. The artillery. We need to be shooting over here. Don't have a clear line of sight. Alright, I think it's possible that if we shoot from this angle, we might be able to hit them as they're coming along, along this way. Because we just need to thin out the inf- Oh, hang on, there's more infantry over here. One, two, three, four. Oh, we've also got to count this guy, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, God. Yeah, that's going to be tricky. Yeah. Well, we'll just, we'll just see how we go. So what we do here is just move this up a little bit. Move this up a little bit. Make sure they're all in guard mode there. Just got to open the gate and then tell them to stay it's absolutely still. But don't be too close to the outside of it. Or else um, enemy units will make contact. Right, yeah, you've got to get rid of the Saurus Spears there. Okay, these ones here. That's it. At least these guys here aren't coming in just yet. I might be able to turn them around and shoot over this way. Just got basic towers. But yeah, these guys here... I believe that they will not get up on the walls.
Yeah, they just stand there. Okay, I think we've gate bugged them in all cases there. That's good. But they definitely climb up on the walls here. Also, I think to note they've got tons of experience. Okay. So, the reason why we really have to hold the walls here is because we don't want them to climb over the walls and just open the gate that way. So, we really need to make sure that they just do not gain any ground on us at all. Hang on, this one here hasn't climbed up on the wall yet. Alright, how are we going? How are we going? Yep, they haven't climbed up on the wall here. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, yeah, this is another reason why walls suck. Your archers won't be able to shoot properly. So weird seeing lizard men and chaos forces fight side by side. This is bizarre. Oh, they're trying really hard to attack the gate there. Right, get that one down. At least our guys have a lot of armor piercing, so that helps. Oh, watch where you're shooting. Stop, 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 stop. Um, shoot over there. Alright, maybe bring the archers standing here and here, respectively, so that they... Oh my god, that's a lot of, um, Soros warriors coming up this way. And you can see that our guys just don't really stand that much of a chance against Soros Warriors. <laughs> I wish I could put the knights up on the wall. Obviously I can't. So this is fine over here. Yeah, I'm worried about this side right here. We're just, uh, we're not dishing out enough damage. Hang on, if I stand right there, we're thinnest on this flank here. Most of our troops are here. If I can shoot into that there, I might bypass their shields and hit them. But all of our melee infantry are in combat yes. here. There's no advantage for our guys fighting up on the walls whatsoever. No stat bonuses or anything. The only thing that the AI gets is a bit of a fatigue penalty. For climbing up on the wall, which doesn't really matter that much because our guys get tired pretty quickly as well. Got three units over here, two over here. This is where we're getting attacked the lightest. This is working out okay there. Alright, shoot that one. Uh, that's not great. Try and move back a little bit so they can arc their shots a bit. Yeah, more fan cavalry, they get gate bugged. It's okay. Bring the knights over here just so we've got more local superiority. And maybe run down their broken units here. Oh, why don't we? Why don't we shoot there? That actually might work. our own units a little bit, but still, definitely hitting their units more. Just got to keep them out of here. Because all we're going to do is focus on their infantry here. I don't think any of that volley really hit. That dude's coming up as well. Well, once these guys here come down on the walls, we need to make sure the Knights of the Realm stand here. Because these guys here, um, this outside here, they won't be able to get inside unless this gets captured. 
Problem is, if they start coming down this way, they'll attack the peasant bowmen and get them to close the gate, which will allow them to attack it. Which is not what we want. It's worked out okay over here. But yeah, we are definitely getting some good kills with the field trebuchets. This is not very accurate. Oh no, you don't. Not looking too grand there. Keep that. We did put it on guard mode. Keep that gate open. Keep that gate open. I know this guy's anti large, but I don't have anyone else to send. Ah, shit. Well, he ran out of ammo. Just hold them back as long as you can. Hitting our own units a little bit, but their units are worth way more than ours. Just gotta do it. I don't have any more reserves. Okay, you're back. Get over here. Come on, I ran past here. They are slowly beating up their general. Yeah, get your ass back over here. All I'm really doing here is just holding that back. Uh, the archer's used up its ammo, so it's got no real value left. Good. Killing the enemy general, though. That's good. Oh, man. Are we actually going to manage this? We're hanging on by a thread, but... They don't have much either in terms of infantry. That's all we got to focus on. Okay. Um, yeah, just stop firing. Hold on to your bounce of power. No, 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 not you, not you, not you. Stay there. Oh, God, we do not want that gate to close. Keep that fucking gate open. Also, just another point. Um, the guy in the email thought this battle was impossible. Which, if we didn't use the gate bug, it would be. Okay, yeah, maybe... No, that's fine. Hold your position there. Alright, so... All of our, um... Halberdiers... Rallied. But yeah, just make sure that that gate does not close. Because <laughs> if they break through, we are fucked. So there. Okay, so these Sora Spears. Wait for them to come down off the wall. Yeah, they don't capture the gate by owning the walls. There's no advantage actually fighting up on the walls, and I need to try to flank them with my cavalry. Freaking out of ammo. Just try to... It's kind of difficult to flank unit inside of a city, but just try to charge it on mass, try to cause a um, huge amount of um, just shock to cause it to rout. Stay put. We fight for this fucking guy's back again. Oh, He's nearly dead, so that's good. Oh, yeah, just keep that fucking gate open. So we can see here that the battle difficulty is on very hard. We're going to look for a difficulty modifier 10. That's how you can tell. Like I said, we only really need to focus on this side here. Come on, fucking break. God, no, no, you guys just stay there. You just stay there. That is your only job. Don't worry about him. Okay, get rid of them. That's good. God, he's really close to death. Uh, killing him won't make that much of a difference, but, you know, it's just another unit we got to get rid of. Okay, back off, back off. Don't go out there. Don't go out there. Sometimes if you send your cavalry out there, they'll just run outside. It's not good. So just be careful. Make sure that gate stays open. Shift 
Come on, a little bit more, and he's dead. Come back, come back. Keep the fucking gate open. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Come on, a couple more hits. Alright, sometimes when they um, they break, they break into the city. Sometimes they'll have like a couple of units just run into the town square. So you got to keep an eye on that. One more hit. Good. Alright, that is all their infantry that we need to worry about. Man, we actually managed to hold the walls. Alright, you come up over here. And now we just have to try to get the towers to do all the work. <laughs> Gotta get that army losses. Um, and that's the tricky part, I suppose. Just a matter of patience. We've got some artillery ammo, but best we just hold on to that, just for uh, bounce power purposes. What are they running at here? Because, yeah, right now we're not under any danger. All we got to do is chill and just try to lure these guys into positions to shoot the towers. Make sure this one here gets wiped out. Good. All right. So they still got some infantry over here, but um, these guys w never climb up on the walls, so nothing to worry about there. We nearly killed off the dragon ogres here, but the knights of the realm could probably sally out. Not yet, but in a once we cleared out some more of these units, we sally out and get rid of these dragon ogres. I can finish off that sword spears. Now the fact that it's playing lizardman music still gives us the idea that the bounce power still isn't in our favor. Okay, that's just straight up missing. We might as well aim for one that we can hit. Anyway, if the Knights of the Realm come over here and charge out, they'll probably break that straight away. Did we kill the Shaggoth? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we did. There it is. Good. Nothing else we can do here. Just gotta wait. That one over there as well. Because this is all just free kills right now. So it's got to be patient. You know, we've derped out the AI. I think th what we were doing with the artillery on the walls here really did uh, a lot of damage. You can see they got quite a few kills on Source Warriors there. Could aim over here. Like I said, what we need to do here is win the battle. The way to win the battle is by telling the game, hey, look, we've still got this much balance of power, and they've lost this much balance of power, right? But if we use up our ammunition, then, you know, that's that's a lot of our balance of power used up. I, I didn't explain that very well, but... <laughs> we've just got to preserve as much as we can now. Obviously, when we were under pressure, we needed to use the ammunition, but we're not under pressure now. Having our guys recover fatigue helps as well, but there's no other way for us to preserve balance of power than just let the towers do all the work. Which is annoying because they're not very accurate at all. Could you just finish this one off here? It's really pissing me off. It's so inaccurate. Just can't seem to hit it. It's almost like it's programmed to miss. Oh no, it, it hits every now and again. <laughs> Just <laughs> not very much. Just gotta be patient. And yeah, the AI, they, even with their general dead, they will just fight to the death. That's just very hard battle difficulty and legendary difficulty because of all the free experience that they get. This is probably the first time these guys have ever fought a battle. Yeah, there's only that one dude standing in front of it. These, these three over here aren't within range. Alright, start bringing the Knights of the Realm over here, because we're going to need them to take out these Dragon Ogres, which should be relatively easy for them. They don't have much health. And they're not going to get a charge on us. 
But yeah, the problem here is that once we come out and fight them, um, they might send other units over here. And unfortunately, we don't have tower coverage here. No. Big blind spot. So yeah, you could, in your battles, set up right in here, when you're fighting these gates, right there, and the towers can't hit you at all. But I think sometimes they'll get their artillery and shoot over there. Every now and again we get a kill. Wish we could see the bounce of power. To give us an idea of how much more we need to do. Alright. Alright, we're going to make a bit of an attack. No, no, just wait until this one's at least wavering. Wait a little bit longer. Because I reckon as soon as they come out, we can break these ones here really easily. Just give it a bit longer. Because we really don't want these guys taking any more damage than they absolutely need to. Alright. Come out. Here we go. Oh, God. Well, at least they're not really getting fought back too hard. Okay, we broke that. Alright, that's cool. Just move back. If we broke them, good enough. Get back in. That's it. New units coming over here. That's fine. Uh, that's not ideal. Because I can't hit them from there. But we can hit this cold one rider. Cool, that's another unit to shoot. And this guy moved into range of the tower just slightly. Okay, cool. As long as the towers are hitting something, that's the main thing. Just be patient. Yeah, we just got to try to get that army lost. Oh, look at that. This guy's going to try to come up on the walls. But I, I reckon they, as soon as they get over here, they're just going to break. Yeah, that's nothing to be concerned about. Yeah, look at that. They're, they're going to break. Yeah, they shattered climbing up the wall. Okay. Because they got exhausted when they climbed up on the wall on the walls. Alright, so yeah, this one here's a problem because it's uh, out of range of the towers there, and I'm completely out of ammo apart from artillery. But, oh yeah, this, oh, they're, they're Soros warriors with shields, so they're not spearmen at least. But still, loads of experience. Oh, not that much on this one actually. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, the towers are really good at getting rid of cavalry, they get rid of them quite quick because they're large entities, so the uh, hitboxes are a lot bigger. That one there dies, they'll probably bring a, another unit over here. Cool. To just put in place of the tower. And that's fine. As long as the towers are shooting something, like relatively effectively, then we don't need to charge out just yet. Because unfortunately they're blocking the way a bit. You know, if they put these Mornfang cavalry over here, that's a big deal. Because that's worth a lot of bounce power. And then, once we've completely cleared out this area, I need to then get the cavalry to lure them out away from here, over here, to get shot. They are getting hit? Yeah, it's not very accurate. But it does get the odd hit in. Yeah, the problem here is dealing with these Saurus Warriors. Okay, I might need to thin them out a little bit. So I'm going to bring the artillery over and just see if we can get a shot or two just to thin them out. Otherwise, the cavalry, they're just going to struggle with this so much and get absolutely beaten. And we need them more than any other unit right now, apart from the artillery. And while I did say it's important to preserve bounce of power, what's more important, their ammunition or the knight's lives? The knight's lives are actually more important, so we've got to thin them out. And at point blank range here, actually, let me just see if I can fire this manually. Oh, you've got to do it at like a. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Our 
Come on, after we get a hit in that, shoot through the gate. Good, that's pretty good. Okay, stop, they're reforming, just let's see what happens there. Right, go at it again. Good, we got rid of the dragon ogres there. Okay, try again. Good. It should be relatively easy now to get rid of them with the cavalry. Okay, hang on, hang on. Don't need to charge out just yet, because here come the Mornfang cavalry. They're going to stand here and get shot to shit. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> really had to cheese this one. But yeah, the gate bug is very useful in these um, uh, gate battles. Yeah, they're going down. It's slow. Slow going, but they are going down. We definitely shouldn't charge out just yet. Even though these guys here aren't anti-large, you know, they can do a quite a lot of damage. And while we're getting free hits on them, just let that happen. Unfortunately, that one's out of ammo, so it's worth essentially no bounce of power anymore. Getting some decent hits there. Shit. Alright, shouldn't be any problem for the um, cavalry to charge out there. Let's just wait until the Mornfang cavalry is so weak that they're probably going to break straight away as soon as we charge out. But so far, so good. But still, not enough army losses. So, not enough damage to inflict the army losses because we've lost so much of our bounce power. All of our ammunition's gone. All that's really remaining are the Knights of the Realm. And they still have a fair bit. Like, I'm sure they've lost more than us, but not by enough to cause the army losses yet. That's why we're trying to get as many free hits as possible. Shouldn't be too far off, though. Because we've only got three fresh units over here. Fresh-ish. What happened to my guys over here? Oh, good. Oh, good. You got rid of them completely. Alright, we shouldn't have any problem charging out here. Defeating them. And then we just got to see if we can get them to uh, get shot by the towers. <laughs> oh, guys, suck it. Charging out the gate. Good. Break them. That's it. They're broken. Just let them go. Because we don't want to get shot by our own towers. Because it definitely does do friendly fire. That's it. They're shattered. Alright, now, if you have a look at the speed of these various units. Speed of the Dragon Ogre is 64, 66, and 75. Which, our guys are faster than them. So, that shouldn't be a problem. But maybe just bring one of them over try to get them to charge out over here at us, so that we can hit them with the towers. But it looks like we've got this. That's it. You come at me, bro. Get inside. Yes, and now just get shot by towers. <laughs> See, that's an anti-large unit as well, with armor piercing, so we've got to be careful about fighting that in melee. Could send the remainder of the halberd units to go and fight it, but you know, they're pretty beat up. 
But right now, this is just uh, free damage that we're inflicting on them. We, sh we gotta be close to inflicting the army losses at this point. So, this guy here is the healthiest of them. Let's bring him over here, see if he can take on the Cold One Riders. Yeah, it won't take much to break them now. Oh, come on out. They shouldn't have any problem with it. But try to fight them outside the range of the tower so we don't inflict it friendly fire. Ugh. Okay, another unit shattered, great. And once again just try to get them to get shot by towers. Okay, notice the music changed. That must mean the balance of power is in our favor. Now that does not mean you should just go low in and just charge at them, but it means that we're very close to winning, I think. Should mean that. Get their attention. Hmm, okay. Oh wow, they do not want to move at all. <laughs> Shit, okay. <laughs> got him. I just had to scare them just a tiny little bit. But we got him. Now, when I first saw this battle here, I was like, nah, that's fucking impossible. But then I thought, hang on a second, most of their units are large. Maybe there's some hope. Yeah, you can see we are losing some to friendly fire, but we also need to get rid of these dragon ogres. They're also just going to come back. There we go. Without the gate bug, that would have been 100% impossible. Fighting that out in the field would have been impossible, because they just had so many really good units. And this was on very hard battle difficulty. On normal or easy battle difficulty, maybe you can win that without cheesing it like this, but on very hard battle difficulty, that would have been impossible. Like, we were just out of, like, really damaging firepower, really. Um... It took everything that we had to beat them. Unfortunately, that didn't wipe them out. Which means that they'll basically recover to full within a couple of turns and then just... Oh, they've got another army. Oh, uh, yeah, so that's what happened. It's a... Uh... See if you can get um, these guys here to join war against the Celestial Storm. I, I would highly recommend getting them to do it, because I don't think you got any armies in this area here. Ugh, what's going on here? Oh, uh, see, it happened. The Eagle Gate's all the way over here. You gotta get rid of that straight away. What if you offered to go to war with the Awakening? You could probably get away with that, but I'll leave, leave that up to you. Oh, that might be why your reliability is really low. Right. Well, it's not perfect. But anyway, at least we got through that. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. hope you learned something. Um, I wasn't sure if that battle was possible, but it just goes to show you that if you find the right exploit, some battles are possible that way. Anyway, it's the end of this one. Appreciate you, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.